Commission is a semi-autonomous government agency with the mandate to ensure sustainable harvesting and monitoring of our forests. The Guyana Forestry Commission is governed by two legislations primarily. The Guyana Forestry Commission Act as well as the Forest Act. Under those two legislations, we are allowed to facilitate or to allow stakeholders to enter into joint venture or joint arrangements with each other for the harvesting and utilization of the resources of the forest. Under those legislations, it is also permissible for export to be carried out. The State Forest Exploratory Permit is one type of concession that the Guyana Forestry Commission issues. Under that type of concession, concessionaires are allowed to carry out a maximum of 25% of harvesting. One thing to note here as it relates to compliance, the, these guiding documents outline the requirements that the different stakeholders need to follow and if by chance there is any defaulters or any breach of any one of these requirements, the Forestry Commission do take serious action against those defaulters. One of the key points made under the Code of Practice for timber harvesting speaks to the maximum allowable cut for the country, which allows for us to compute the maximum amount that can be harvested at a national level annually to ensure that the forest regenerates naturally. That level equates to 1.6 million cubic meters. Currently, as far as uh, over a decade, including 2013 and currently in 2014, we are only at a fraction of that maximum sustainable level. In actual numbers, we are at about 30 to 40 percent of that total level of maximum sustained yield. I would make reference to the Minister of Finance's uh, half-year summary released a few weeks ago in which it was concluded that the forest sector has grown by 30% in export earnings. This of course bodes well for the sector because it allows for us to create employment opportunities and to also allow for small and mid-sized enterprise development to be fostered in many areas of our country. Guyana is engaged in a hallmark agreement with the government of Guyana and the Kingdom of Norway. That bilateral agreement between the two governments allow for payments for ecosystem services in the form of forest carbon. Over the past three years, there has been compliance by Guyana with the, state, with the compliance requirements of that bilateral agreement. In the area of forest management and harvesting of forest produce, there is also compliance with the requirements as set out in that bilateral agreement. In actual fact, the level of forest harvest that is stipulated as the benchmark for uh, an annual period, Guyana has never exceeded that level. In 2013, Guyana has not exceeded that level. And from the looks of things in 2014, there is going to be general compliance as well with the stipulations of that bilateral agreement. The claim that the Guyana Forestry Commission supports joint venture agreements as a means of circumventing the forest laws of Guyana is of course without any base. The Forest Act of Guyana provides four joint venture agreements actually. It provides that so long as the individuals equally qualify, then they are allowed to enter into these arrangements and there's a process, a legal process that has to be followed and once that process is followed then the joint venture agreement is approved. It is only approved after that process has been followed and the requirements therein have been met. The claim that there is illegal an increase in illegal logging in Guyana and of course the illegal exportation of logs out of Guyana. That is false. There is a claim that community operations as well as small and mid-sized enterprises are disadvantaged in Guyana's forest sector. This claim is false. In actual fact, in Guyana, we have close to 1.19 million acres of forests that have been allocated directly to community forestry associations. And currently, we have 70 functioning community forestry organizations which support close to 3,000 persons directly employed. 
Guyana Forestry Commission remains committed to ensuring that our forests and its resources are being sustainably utilized and we will continue our sustainable monitoring of that forest to ensure compliance with our laws. We also remain open to continue working with all of our stakeholders, both local and international. We also remain committed to continue implementing our very open and transparent processes, which allow for all stakeholders who have an interest in the forest to come forward, make the relevant applications to us. We go through those legal process and we award based on merit.